We're going to follow up on the last video. Uh, I showed you some minimalistic plein air setups. I'm going to take these things outside today and show you how this works in action. Okay, so I'm just going to pack up everything. Uh, I'm just using a backpack to go outside and everything that I need that I showed you in the last video is here. If you didn't see the last video and you want to get caught up, I've got the link in the description. Uh, just visit that and you'll find all of the information that I have about these supplies and gear. Everything just fits right into my backpack. My bottled water. And I'm ready to go paint. I just wanted to show you um, how long it took me to basically set up. I just even wanted to time myself uh, just to see. I've um, sped up the camera just a little bit so you don't have to sit through the whole thing, but uh, you can see me get the gear together, um, get everything out of the, the of, of my backpack. I don't have anything to sit on at this particular location. If you wanted to have something to sit on, I would suggest you know taking a small waterproof um, fold away camping seat. It's just a little flat piece of uh, waterproof plastic foam that you can carry just so that you can sit down on the ground and not get your pants wet. Um, it's, it's handy to have. Uh, I didn't actually have one out that particular day because I was planning to stand, but you can see I'm just getting my gear together. Uh, these are all the same components that I showed you in the last video. There's the board. You can see I've clipped my towel on, uh, got everything attached to the board, and uh, and I'm, I'm already working. So inside of two minutes, uh, I was able to start sketching uh, and working on my painting. I was planning to do a little sketching in the other book, in the smaller book, uh, with just the two colors that I had suggested uh, in the last video. So you can see that it really, it, it takes no time at all to put that together. I just got my book out. I'm just reaching in to uh, you know, grabbed my pencil and my water pen and uh, kind of walked over to a different location and just uh, immediately started to sketch. So it took uh, no time at all, just a few moments to get that together. And you can see how easy it is to work with. Uh, I just, you know, keep those, uh, some of those components just in my, in my pocket uh, for your, you can, if you've got a pocket on your, your jacket, your shorts, whatever you've got going on, you can get things done pretty quickly and then once things are um, once things are finished you're done working in a particular area it's easy to just get your things back together and always making sure to leave things just the way you found them and uh, you're off to another location I hope this was helpful. Uh, it's definitely not the only way to paint outside, but it's it's a method that has worked uh, well for me. It's very lightweight, so convenient, uh, very quick and easy, and 
I, I don't have to spend time working with an easel or a chair. Um, those are certainly uh, methods that you can try and they can be useful depending on uh, your particular setup and the needs that you have. Um, but if you, if you are planning to be out and you want to be able to have the, the flexibility to move around as much as possible from uh, several different locations, uh, one to the other, this is definitely a good method to try. Uh, I would encourage you to you know, get your materials together, uh, work with them just maybe just even in your own yard, just to make sure that everything kind of goes as smoothly as you would like for it to make any modifications that you need to uh, before you actually hit the road and, and get out, um, you know, to a location uh, and certainly before you travel. But hopefully this has been helpful to you. Comment below, let me know uh, if it was helpful. If you have other ideas that you would like to share, I would definitely be interested in hearing. Thanks so much and I will see you on the next video.